Welcome back to Lock and Reload. So, for those of you that are interested on the reliability of AK-47 mags, I'm going to throw in the dirt three specific manufacturers. I'm going to go throw in the American variant of the AK-47 mag made by Tapco. Basically, we're going to take all three of these mags, by the way, dump them in the dirt, and to see how reliable they really are. So, first up, we have Tapco. We have our Romanian uh, surplus mags, which are a tank, they're built well, they're good, reliable, but they're beaters nonetheless. Then we have our Korean mags, uh, obviously made in Korea. And we're going to dump all three of these in the, in the dirt and see where that takes us and see how reliable they are. show you all that I'm actually putting the magazine in the dirt. Uno, dos. First up, we have the Tapco mag. Get that all slathered up in dirt. Probably got a lot of dirt in it. Throw off to the side. Mind you, I have 10 rounds in here, so they're not fully loaded. Now the Romanian mag. Dirt in it. Now we have the magazine made in Korea for the Korean mag. Let's go shoot them and see what we can do. Our dirt filled AK-47 mag. First up we're going to do the Korean mag. Obviously I got dirt coming out of here and we'll see how the reliability is on that. The Korean passed. Romanian. Failed to strip one into the chamber. Somewhat passed. Tap go. Failed to strip the last one in. Somewhat passed. So that gives you, in a nutshell, the reliability on the AK-47 mags. Thanks for watching. This is Lock and Reload. As always, catch you later.